Okay, guys, we're going to um, do some respiratory structures now, and hopefully I will cover everything that's on your list. I might leave out a couple of things here and there, but I'm going to try to make sure I cover everything. Okay, I'm going to go over this model first. This is this guy. Okay, so you can see he's got some microscopic uh, respiratory structures and then macroscopic ones. So we're going to do kind of an overview on here. Looking up here, you can see nasal cavity, oral cavity, so air is going to come in there and then come through the pharynx, which is going to be behind the nose and mouth. That's that space. Then air will enter the larynx, which is this part, and then into the trachea. Come down the trachea and will split at the carina, which is this little triangular-shaped cartilage here, and go into each lung. This is your right primary bronchus. This is your left primary bronchus. So this is your right lung, left lung. Primary bronchus is going to split into secondary bronchus, primary, secondary, and your secondary bronchus will each split into tertiary bronchus. So here you see a secondary bronchus with a tertiary, tertiary, tertiary. Here's a secondary bronchus with a tertiary, tertiary, tertiary. So each time you split, you go up. Primary, secondary, tertiary. You can't really see the lobes in this right lung, but it is the right lung, and you can see the covering. Okay, so you can see the covering coming down, folding up over the diaphragm, and then covering the lung again and folding back on itself. So this one right here is the parietal pleura, and right on the lung tissue itself would be the visceral pleura. And you can see there's a nice big pleural space here, which is very evident down here. Looking at the left lung, remember the left lung has two lobes, upper, lower separated by an oblique fissure. These are the apex of the lungs, and remember the base sits on the diaphragm here. If we look back up at the larynx area, you can see the epiglottis. Okay, try that again. Epiglottis, a little bit closer now. This is the thyroid cartilage here, and this is the cricoid cartilage because it's cut in a sagittal section. This is the esophagus back here. So epiglottis, thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. So between the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone, which is right there, you have your thyrohyoid membrane. Between the thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage, you have your cricothyroid membrane. Up here, you can even see some of the muscles of the face. This right here is mylohyoid. So that's that one you can see externally. And then right above that is the geniohyoid going from the mandible to the hyoid bone. Geniohyoid. And then this muscle right here is the genioglossus going from the, the mandible to the tongue muscle itself. So here's your tongue, genioglossus muscle, geniohyoid muscle, mylohyoid muscle. Now let's look over here at the microscopic part. This right here is showing you your bronchiole. Remember the bronchus, you have primary, secondary, tertiary bronchus, ending in a terminal bronchus, which then becomes a bronchiole. This bronchiole does not have cartilage. Right? It does have smooth muscle, but this is a bronchiole. This is not the trachea now. This is microscopic. So here are your terminal bronchioles. Here's your respiratory bronchiole. You can see the rings of smooth muscle right before it becomes alveoli. So all these little white bubbles here are your alveoli. You can see pulmonary arteries and veins, artery in blue, vein in red, and the capillary beds around those alveoli. If you look over here, you can see your alveolar duct with your alveoli coming off of those. Actually, this would looks like it might be showing a respiratory bronchiole, but Basically, this is an alveolar duct with your um, alpocketings, your alveoli. So these would be individual alveoli, all these little round structures. And this, I believe 13 is showing you the alveolar duct. We'll see that on another model. And then this would be the respiratory bronchiole with alveoli coming off the side. Pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, terminal bronchiole. Okay, so these would be bronchioles, and then your lung structures. All right, we'll look at another one now. Okay, this is another one. 
Okay, a lot of these structures are just repeated. You can see them on multiple different types of models, so make sure you just find them on every model you look at. Here's our thyroid cartilage. You can see your laryngeal prominence. That's this little part right here that sticks out the most. Here's your hyoid bone up here. Membrane between those two is the thyrohyoid membrane. Thyroid cartilage, here's your cricoid cartilage. Membrane between, between those two is your cricothyroid membrane. You can see your trachea with your cartilage rings. Remember the, tra the cartilage, tracheal rings of are C-shaped, not round. You need to have an open flat space that's soft in the back with that tracheal's muscle to allow for swallowing to be comfortable. Here's your thyroid gland. You can see two muscles here. One is going between your cricoid cartilage and your thyroid. That's this little one here. So that's cricothyroid muscle. This one between your thyroid cartilage and your hyoid bone is thyrohyoid muscle. Okay, so thyrohyoid membrane, thyrohyoid muscle, cricothyroid membrane, cricothyroid muscle. And we'll look at the inside of this in a second. We look here, we can see our right and left brachiocephalic veins. Right brachiocephalic vein, left brachiocephalic vein. This is your right internal jugular vein, right subclavian vein. Left internal jugular vein, left subclavian vein. You can see the arteries as well. Left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Brachiocephalic trunk, right common carotid artery, right subclavian artery. Looking down here at the lungs. You can see right lung, remember, covered with visceral pleura, upper, middle, lower lobes, horizontal fissure, oblique fissure. Left lung, upper, lower lobe, oblique fissure, cardiac notch, and lingula. Apex, base. You can see the diaphragm here. Take this off. Here's the rest of your trachea ending in your carina, right there in the middle. Left primary bronchus, right primary bronchus. Primary bronchus splits, secondary bronchus, tertiary, tertiary. Left splits, secondary, secondary, tertiary, tertiary, tertiary. Pulmonary veins, pulmonary arteries, ascending aorta, well, aortic arch really, superior vena cava. Here's your diaphragm. You can see your esophagus poking through the esophageal hiatus. So the hiatus would be the whole. Structure is the esophagus. This is all central tendon of the diaphragm. This hole right here is where your inferior vena cava would come up to dump into the heart. So this is your caval hiatus. This is all diaphragm here. This is your abdominal aorta. If we look down inside here, you can see nice cardiac impression, esophagus, descending aorta. Again, your right and left primary bronchus. This right here is where that visceral pleura doubles back on itself and gives you your pulmonary ligament. This would be the root of the lung here. Okay, now we'll look inside this part. Okay, so I took the larynx off, basically. You can see your hyoid bone. This structure right here is your epiglottis. And here's the opening to the trachea. You can see those muscles again. Thyroid gland, cricothyroid muscle, thyrohyoid muscle. You can actually see your right recurrent laryngeal nerve going through that membrane there. Let's open this up. Okay, sort of like the one we already looked at in the sagittal section here. You have epiglottis. These are your vocal folds here. Here's your hyoid bone thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. Here's your esophagus, trachea. So this area right here would be your larynx. This going between your hyoid bone and your thyroid cartilage is your thyrohyoid membrane. This one right here is your cricothyroid membrane. 
This would be your laryngeal prominence. Okay, moving on.